Hello students, welcome to Legacy AIS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the recent plan that India has unveiled to build a sixth generation fighter jet aircraft. So what this plan is all about, is India going to build this aircraft by itself or with the collaboration of different countries? What are the advantages India will have after building up of this jet and what are the challenges it will face and the other issues around this aircraft? Let us try to understand this in more detail. Now, the reason why we are talking about this particular issue is because very recently a well-known Japanese online portal, it has claimed that India may join 6th generation fighter jet program that Japan already is a part of. If you talk about this particular program, it is called as GCAP, that stands for Global Combat Air Program. This entire program is actually a collaborative effort of three countries, that is Japan, United Kingdom, as well as Italy. So this is something that also has been verified by a well-known Indian military, uh, Indian military uh, journal that is called as IDRW, that is Indian Defense Research Wing. So basically both have concluded and has come to uh, uh, what you can call as understanding that such project is actually where India seems to be showing interest. Now if you talk about this particular GCAP project, it is going to build not any simple or what you can call as the uh, aircraft that we use today, but it is going to build a sixth generation fight aircraft and the timeline proposed is by the end of the year 2035. Currently, if we talk about most of the aircraft that Indian Air Force has belong to the third and fourth generation and the fifth generation aircraft itself is something that is not available to most of the countries. Largely, we can talk about United States, China and Russia. These are three countries which are using the fifth generation aircraft. If we talk about Russia, it is in the stage of building uh, fifth generation aircraft, so Sukhoi 57. So, if we talk about USA F-22 Raptor is an example of fifth generation aircraft and this effort is or this what you can call as this program is even going one step ahead and trying to what you can call as construct a much more better or what you can call as much more advanced aircraft. If you talk about in the month of December 2022, an agreement already was reached between the three countries regarding this project that is Japan, Italy and UK and the news report coming about this project has clearly stated that once completed, the fighter jet aircraft is going to be a state-of-art stealth fighter jet. Now, the term here that is used is a stealth. So, stealth basically refers to the technology that is used by the fighter aircraft so that they do not emit any kind of signal, whether it is infrared signal, whether it is a visible light signal or any kind of signal so that on the radar, it cannot be easily detected. So, that is the benefit of stealth technology. It basically make aircraft invisible in nature, specifically and it advantageous if you are flying in an enemy territory. India is also showing significant interest in the GCAP project and has officially reached out to the Japanese government with the intent of exploring its participation in the particular project. So if India's uh, proposal is accepted, then India can become the fourth partner of the GCAP project. Now if you take a look at across the world, the countries which are largely involved in the construction of sixth generation aircraft, so the first is obviously the Future Combat Air System, the program that is again a collaborative or joint program launched by France, Germany and Spain. And this plan programs, basically if talk about this particular program, aims to construct the 6th generation aircraft by the 2040. And here next is talk about United Kingdom, then you have Italy and then you have Sweden. These countries also have launched a program under Tempest name. Tempest is name given to this particular program and the BAE, a private company that is from the Britain is main company behind this particular program. Then if we talk about the United States of America. Now after coming off Donald Trump, earlier this project was sold off, but again the project which aims to create F-47 fighter jet aircraft under the Boeing company, that program again has been green light and now Boeing is going to construct development of a 6th generation aircraft before the 2030. The program is called as NGAD, that is Next Generation Air Dominance. So NGAD program from US, Tempest program by UK mostly and Italy, then Future Combat Air System as we discussed a collaborative effort of the three countries. Then you have Mitsubishi FX, that is a separate Japanese initiative which, try to build, which is trying to build a 6th generation aircraft and is planning to launch it by the year 2020. Eight. Apart from that, China also has recently unveiled 
a flight, a few seconds of video went viral on social media where many users have claimed that this is a sixth generation aircraft of China that it is flying called as J-50. Now, about this particular incident you talk about, the Chief of Defense Staff of India, he has stated that assessing the authenticity of the claim, that whether the flight that we are seeing in this particular image graph is sixth generation or not, it is very, very difficult to say because the video clip itself is of very brief duration and it is very difficult to see that actually whether there is a fourth generation aircraft, fifth generation aircraft or sixth generation aircraft just by looking at a video. Second, external viewing of aircraft and that too with a few seconds clip will not give you any idea about the internal features and what kind of advanced technology the aircraft is using and deploying. So in fact, a large number of countries are pursuing as per the chief of defense staff of India, he has said that large number of countries and obviously we have discussed in last um, uh, this slide as well are trying to create a sixth generation aircraft. They are pursuing the sixth generation program and that in that his personal belief all of these countries are some distance away from finally reaching the goal of having successfully created a sixth generation aircraft. So more, most probably what we can understand from this entire discussion that a Chinese claim of this aircraft being sixth generation may not be true. Now let us suppose that if India indeed is accepted in the GCAP club or membership, well, how it is going to be the significant. So first of all, they aim to build the sixth generation fighter jet considering the future needs of the UK's Tempest and Italy. Italy as we have discussed is a member of Tempest, Tempest program as well. And three countries are referring to it as a strategic cooperation because that will also help in enhancing the strategic cooperation specifically in the current geopolitical tension and scenario where we are seeing on one side you have the western countries and western world and other side you have the Russia especially after the break of the Russia-Ukraine war. So there also the countries might have certain strategic advantage and it will include we talk about this particular program, GCAP specifically, it will include advanced stealth technology as you have discussed because in this particular program, they will even ensure that whatever is being emitted by the engines of the aircraft, even such kind of emission can be controlled to such an extent that the aircraft may not be visible on the enemy radars. AI integration, obviously we know that today we are living in a world where artificial intelligence is trying to enter and take control in every aspect of our life. So obviously the development of aircraft cannot be immune from that and the integration of AI can go and play a very strong or important role in advancing the technology that the aircraft is using. And third is that network warfare capabilities that means using the information for your own advantage against the enemy is something that is going to be the main cornerstone of the GCAP program. However, obviously we have to understand that the task against the countries are uh, very, very difficult and the project is expected to incur heavy cost. So financial burden is the first challenge that the partner countries will have to accept and agree upon. The estimated cost, many of the experts argue, will go almost to tens of billions of dollars and arrangement of such a huge amount of money is something that these countries will have difficulty in finding for. And in search of arrival partner, that is why we talk about why both except actually if you look at the GCAP program, except Japan, both Italy and UK want India to come on board. The reason is because they are in search of a reliable partner and that is where India basically fits in. Because India has a strong ties with all the three countries. Plus, we know that the export, Indian defense exports have risen in the recent time and Indian defense import, obviously we know that we are one of the largest defense importer of the world. So due to this and also because of the need of the Indian Air Force, it seems that India can be a better partner in this particular program. This will also add benefit for India as well because India also want to replace its aging old aircraft that Indian Air Force has been using. In this direction, some attempt has been made where India is on talk with Russia to import Su-30 aircraft. Already we have imported Rafale from the France. So this will be another addition in that area. So cutting edge technology is something that also will have our hands on access to and that will be a master stroke in advancing the domestic defense industry within India also specifically in the context of the focus on what you can call as indigenization of the technology in the defense sector. It will also strengthen the strategic partnership with three countries that is Japan, UK and Italy with which already India enjoys a very strong collaborative partnership. Even before Japan's former inclusion, we can understand that Italy and UK have already accepted and they actually wanted India, they have encouraged India to get involved in this program. However, the problem is that Japan seems to be hesitant in allowing India to become partner of this particular program 
and the reason behind this let us try to understand so basically you can say the japan's uh, this uh, what you can call as the japan's hesitation can be a only obstacle that will uh, create problem in india uh, in india joining this particular program now why japan is having some sort of issues in india joining gcap and the reason is because japanese experts believe that due to the strong india russia military ties that india has enjoyed for many many decades it is apprehensive of the new partnership because japanese uh, military experts believe that it can result in the theft of technology where the technology that is being transferred to india by being the member of this program it can be stolen by the russian military experts there is a potential of leak of advanced stealth avionics and propulsion system again because they have said that russia current uh, india currently is using su 30 mk craft as well as s 400 air defense system so if the sixth generation aircraft that india will have access to after being the member of gcap if that aircraft is integrated with all the system that is where the risk of the potential leak of all these technology and systems also arises so japan believes that the involvement of more countries in the program will increase the risk and this heightens the threat of delays in completing the gcap by year 2035 from india's perspective also we have to understand that uh, from the other countries perspective why italy and uk want india to be part of so obviously two factors there again we can think of that increased cost burden that this program will have that can be shared with india and because india has a need of aircraft then obviously india can also act as a market for this aircraft once the project is completed plus we know that the western countries are having a kind of Uh, this rival relationship or rivalry with china so when we are talking about the rise of china and specifically the japan is also someone some country a kind of country that feels threatened by the china's rise so anti china axis if talk about there also the involvement of india can be a very very important for these countries so that is how we can understand the significance of the particular program and what is the possibility of india being a part of the sixth generation fighter jet aircraft development project so if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your fellow aspirants as well as subscribe to our channel for more such helpful content thank you very much